Hello, I'm Executive Chef Joseph Schutze. Welcome to our kitchen. Today I'd like to share with you my recipe for an American classic. One, in my opinion, that has a pretty bad rap, as it's been served many times without flavor, dry, tough, chewy. Of course, I'm talking about the pot roast. So join me now as I show you how I make an unbeatable pot roast filled with flavor and juicy. Now the first thing I like to do is to start to preheat my cast iron Dutch oven. I'll add about a tablespoon or and a half of blended olive oil and then add eight ounces of cherry smoked bacon lardons. We're gonna render the fat from this on medium heat. Now here we are with the fat rendering from the bacon and it's now beginning to brown. What I like to do then is add about one ounce of garlic clove, whole peeled. Yeah, depending on their size, you're looking at about five or six. Give that a moment to become aromatic. We then like to add two cups of medium diced onion. Now here we are with the onions beginning to brown. Then what I would like to do is remove them. Okay, now that we've removed that, I would like to get the mushroom sauteing. Season that with a little bit of salt. And I may have to add a little more oil to it. Saute these uh, probably five to seven minutes till they're cooked all the way through. And now we're nearing the completion of the mushrooms. What I like to do is add a little of my homemade herb rub just at the end to finish it. We will then remove these to a bowl and we're gonna put these in at a later time. The next thing we'd like to do is we have our three pound chuck roast. I like to season with a little salt and pepper. And most likely your oil will absorb up from the mushroom. So I might add a touch more just to make certain that our meat doesn't burn up. And then we'll lay it season side down and sear it. So right now, we have our one side seared. We'll flip it. And then from there, we're gonna sear the sides a little bit. Uh, is there a real benefit to it? No, it's not really gonna lock in any juices. However, in my eyes, it's still gonna create a little more fond at the bottom of the pan. And when we deglaze, that's gonna help bring a little more flavor into the liquid. Now the next thing I like to do is add my onions and bacon back to and garlic back to the Dutch oven. Then I like to deglaze with two cups of red wine. I prefer port wine. So now that we have that simmering, I will then bring 32 ounces of veal stock. And it's up to simmer. I will season with a little salt. And then we will put it into an oven, 350 degrees Fahrenheit for three hours.
Well, here we are after three hours at 350 degrees and our pot roast. Nice color, very aromatic. What I like to do is touch it and press it a little bit to see how tender it is. As I could see how it's easily going in like this and there's a little bit of give on it, I know this is gonna be on point. So, have a piece there. Yeah, we're good. So now at this time, I like to add my vegetables. Well, the first thing I like to add is dry mushrooms. One cup. Dry mushrooms are very aromatic. Gonna add amazing flavor to this. And I like to put them in first to ensure that they get into the liquid. Then I will add my mushrooms that we cooked, the fresh mushrooms that we cooked earlier. Let's get those into there. The potatoes, a pound and a half. Carrots. some parsnip. And then we put it, oh, I'm sorry, one last thing. The aromatics. Uh, the sprig of rosemary, thyme, and savory. Add a little salt to the top for the veg. We put the cover back on and back to the oven for 30 minutes. Well, here we are. After the 30 minutes with the vegetables and mushrooms and herbs, this is what we have. So now what I like to do is I will remove the herbs and then I would remove the vegetables and the meat and put to a serving platter. We're gonna take a little of the liquid onto the platter and cover it with uh, foil and put it in a warm oven uh, for just for holding. And then take the Dutch oven and return it to uh, the stove top, bring it to a boil for about five minutes. We're trying to reduce it so it thickens up. Also while doing that, you should take a ladle or a spoon and skim off some of the fat off the top. That way it's a little more cleaner of a soup, uh, sauce for you. So doing so, kind of take two spatulas. This is probably one of the best, better ways to do it. And then from here, okay, and now I will go to the other, or I'm sorry, to the stove top, bring it to a boil for about five minutes. So here we have the sauce reduced. I'm just spooning some over the top. So the meat, you know, doesn't look dry. Um, it's, I assure you it's not dry, but just the exterior being exposed to the air outside, it dries out a little faster on the exterior. Um, so there you have it. With the removal of the reduction and the removal of the fat, I end up skimming about four ounces or so of the fat off the top. Now, once this cools down, it'll solidify and then it's easy to pick off, you know, uh, with your fingers or a spoon, whatnot. So, there you have it. The American Classic Pot Roast, done my way. I can assure you that this is extremely tender and very flavorful and certainly will please anyone that 
obviously likes beef. So thank you very much for joining us. Uh, below, please leave some comments, some questions, feedback. And uh, as always, yo, yo, yo.